want to be on film. Well, you just called me over to you. No, I said, can I help you? What's your badge number, just so I know I'm speaking with this? Six kilo two. Thank you. Okay. So someone called this in for? Just suspicious. Do you mind opening the door and having us just come back that way for a sec? How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press. Good to see you again. We are coming to you today from Washington, Utah. Uh, we are at the U.S. Post Office here in Washington, and uh, we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Uh, I am out with Watch and Watchmen today. And I'm uh, just talking a little bit low here because they're unloading a postal truck or loading it. Uh, some people milling around, so I don't want to give us up real quick. But uh, let me give you a look at the neighborhood where we are here. You can see the beautiful mountains off in the background. Beautiful country out here in Utah. And uh, Washington, where we are, is a small town just outside of St. George. So uh, let me give you that look around here. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Tuesday, March 15th. It is 2.58 in the afternoon, and it is 72 degrees, sunny, and absolutely beautiful in Washington, Utah today. I uh, hope you all are out enjoying yourselves, uh, doing something you love, hopefully with some people you love, and uh, hopefully you have some sunshine where you are. And uh, if not, I hope you're making your own. Should be an interesting one here today, guys, so uh, stand by. Hey, Megan out there, Watchman. What's up? What's happening? So, uh, what do you say, usual thing? We'll go check out the outside of the property. Yeah. Take a look around just so you guys know the game plan. Then we'll go up and take a look at the signage that's on the door. Uh, get some footage outside for a little bit, and then we'll be going inside to buy a stamp. So, stand by. So the uh, main entrance is just there to the right, right behind that white Honda. Customer parking lot. Looks like they're uh, loading up one of the trucks here. Sorry? Can I help you? I can't hear you with the box Can in front I help of you. you. Can you help me? No, not at all. What's with the uh I wanna be on film. Well you just called me over to you. No, I said can I help you? Right, so if you don't want to be on film, I'll leave you alone. Have a good day. So this is the uh loading dock here, and obviously I didn't see any signs about any restricted area, no trespassing. Nothing like that. So no worries there. And uh, got this guy calling us in right now that just asked us if we needed any help. So obviously the real question was not do you need any help. The real question is what are you doing here and how can I prevent you from doing it? I think this is all uh, customer parking here, isn't it? It's not labeled one way or the other. And uh, this post office is on the corner of Telegraph Street and uh, Main Street. So this road that's going through here is Telegraph Street. Get you a shot of the sign here. Seems like the post office is always hiring. So, uh, you want to take a look at the signage on the doors? 
Might as well, let's check this side door out real quick. So, let's see what we have for signs here. This is the side entrance. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary, just the sign here tells you what services they offer, in case you don't know. Uh, a couple of face covering signs, which uh, I'm sure are way out of date. Supposed to be taken down October two years ago. Yeah, this sign, if you ever look in the corner of uh, signage for the post office, there's always this little up arrow, down arrow. And uh, update is 7 18 20. That's the date that this notice was supposed to be put up. Down date is 10 31 20. So it was supposed to be taken down October 31st. Um, very important to keep an eye on that kind of stuff. It's an expired sign. And uh, you want to go see what's on the front door? Hello. Hi. So the main entrance here. Okay, see, and there's another thing that you'll notice. The other face covering sign said required. This one says recommended. Uh, so I guess uh, if we're going to go inside, we are going inside. So when we go inside, we'll go through the door that says recommended. And uh, this one just has an up immediately box. There is no takedown date. Get out of the road here. Let this guy in the truck go by. How are you guys doing today? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. How are you guys doing today? Doing well, thank you. How are you? Good. Can I help you with anything? Or? No, not at all. Just recording? Yeah, can I just ask who I'm speaking with? Hmm? Can I ask who I'm speaking with? Yeah, my name's Rob. Rob? Yeah. Are you the station manager? I am. Very cool. Nice to meet you, Rob. Good to meet you. Any issues with us taking some film around the area? Or? Um, as long as you're not, as long as you're not getting like um, daily activity type stuff, you're usually pretty good. Daily uh, activities type stuff, yeah, like, such as yeah, like in the back and stuff like that. You're not supposed to be back there, and ours isn't very secure. Uh, obviously, our team's down, but um, what are you, back in this parking lot? Yeah. Here? Yeah, yeah cuz I checked I'm very vigilant to check yeah. make sure there's no there's no signs there's no, no we, restricted we area. A, we have a usually we have the chain up but it's not up right now. I'll, it'll be up in a minute when I go back by there but but otherwise And what is the yeah. chain supposed to do? keep cars out? Yeah, keep cars out, keep people out. Cuz sometimes we have packages back here and stuff so I got you. That, well, just okay. a suggestion cuz you're station manager and you're being very reasonable professional with me. Just a humble suggestion. I would suggest you put up some no trespassing, oh. no restricted area signs. Makes it much easier for you to we're enforce. Working. Okay, I got you. <laughs> right on. That's all we're doing is working too, man. You have a good day. You too. Appreciate you. Did you uh, let your letter carrier here know that we were okay? You did? All right, cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. So uh, according to him, we're fine, uh, which, you know, overall might be a good thing, but you never know how the rest of the staff's going to behave. You don't know if he's informed them. Uh, obviously, he knows. And the guy that was out dealing with the box when we first got here did not. So, you know, chances are the entire staff has not gotten the memo. So we want to make sure they did. And uh, any customers that have any questions, we want to make sure their questions are answered as well. So uh, don't go away. Stand by. And we have a Washington uh, police vehicle going by. Doesn't appear to be for us, but you never know. I want to walk through, uh, you want to go walk through this side and see if there's a chain on this side they're going to put up? Yeah. You know, because, and you guys might be saying to yourselves, well, he told you it's a restricted area. You know, you should just accept that. Um, like I explained to you, it's not marked. And the problem with that is, is then that becomes very subjective. Uh, police will show up. Employees of whether it's a post office or wherever it is can just make up things and tell the cops that it is what it is if it's not actually physically uh, delineated or, or marked. And uh, the cops sometimes will just go for that and say, well, he's the manager, he knows what the deal is, so that's what's going on. And uh, that's not the case. 
See, like, for example. Well, here, what I should point out, they do have signs here that say do not enter. At both sides of the driveway here. Now, I don't know who that guy is. I don't know if that's a postal vehicle or not, but he just pulled in there. So these signs are traffic direction signs um, that direct traffic. They do not apply to pedestrians. Um, you know, they don't put up do not enter signs for pedestrians. There's plenty of room left on this pole, and what should be on there if they want to keep people out is a no trespassing sign. Uh, government's got millions of them. You've seen them. They look like a badge or a uh, placard, and it says U.S. property, U.S. government property, no trespassing. So that's what they need to do if they want to keep people out of here. So here's the chain. No, as a matter of fact, I think that's very dangerous. It'd be very easy for somebody to run into that. It's, uh, I mean, I, you know, they have a couple of dirty rags hanging off of it, but, you know, I could very easily see somebody not seeing that when they pull in. Yeah, that's not, uh, that's not up to par for sure. Yeah, and not only are there no signs to prevent people from going back there, there's a uh, arrow on the ground directing traffic to go this way. Then the other problem with that cable is, this is why businesses and uh, places are not supposed to lock their doors during business hours because it could create a uh, emergency life-threatening situation. What happens if the, an ambulance Emergency services, a fire truck comes pulling in here and they don't see that. I mean, they're going to snap the cable and no big deal. Somebody could get hit by the cable. Somebody's car could get hit by the cable. Not trying to make a big deal out of nothing, but I mean, come on. You want to restrict an area and you want to uh, keep people out of it. You got to properly uh, do what you got to do. Oh, thank you. Come on. So I got my stamp money. That brings up another excellent point. Any of you that have an alarm on your vehicle and have the ability in the settings to shut the horn off when you turn the alarm on and off, please do that. Nobody's listening, nobody cares, and uh, it's, I don't know, a little obnoxious. Yes, sir. Every day. Hey, man, you always got to say to yourself, at least it's not raining. Right? I would welcome the rain right now. <laughs> yeah, it is a little warm. Could always be worse, was my point. You know, I just realized that's a bunch of BS. What? This whole cable thing. Look how everybody that goes to the uh, drop-off mailbox here has to make a U-turn. They got to make like a K-turn in here, yeah. which is not safe. Somebody's going to hit something one day. And uh, no reason sh people should have to do that. So if you notice, that's why the drive-through is here. And that's why there's that arrow on the ground. So that that way when people pull in, they can go straight through and leave through the exit. Exactly right.
I, of course. Why? I'm not videoing you per se. I'm videoing what's going on here at the post office. For what? That's all the questions I'm going to answer right now. Okay. But thank you. I appreciate you. Have a good day. Yeah, that's definitely not supposed to be like that. Like I was saying, vehicles are supposed to be able to pull in, drop off their mail, and then keep going and pull out. That's why there's parking spaces all the way around the perimeter that are not marked employee parking only. That's why there are no signs saying employees only. So uh, I call BS on that. How do you think this place was designed and set up? Do you think when you pull in here, you see the boxes here on the left? Do you think you're supposed to make a U-turn in this tight little area here and leave? Or you're supposed to follow the arrows out of here? That whole thing is a hazard. That shouldn't be like that. It's a vehicle hazard. It's a pedestrian hazard. And then on top of it, to try to enforce something like that is ridiculous. And where does it end? Where does it end according to him? Because there's no chain on this side. So does it go all the way out to the street? Is it at the corner of the building? What would be the barrier on this side? Yeah, and there's nothing stopping anybody from walking back here. So, pretty interesting. Here comes another vehicle pulling through here that is not a postal vehicle. So it's certified fire and security. Definitely not a postal vehicle. Uh, probably just dropped off some mail at the box and kept going. But uh, this situation is being caused by their lack of uh, due diligence in creating a restricted area. If they had a proper restricted area back there, nobody would be looking at the mail. Uh, they would be uh, fulfilling their obligation to keep that mail private. What they're doing is dragging it out in the public and uh, having it in places where they shouldn't be. And then uh, want to blame the guys with the cameras for recording it. And uh, you could see on the ground here, it used to say it's hard to see. Um, I don't know if you can read that, but there's some yellow faded, very old lettering that says postal vehicles only, I believe. And there must be a very specific reason why somebody has let that fade into oblivion and created a new arrow here without the words, yeah. because you can see that that arrow was painted afterwards. So pretty obvious to me. What do you think? You want to go inside and get the stamp and then we can come back out? Yeah, might as well. Might as well, right? All right. Yeah, and it is uh, 4 o'clock. They close at 5, I'm sure. So. After you Are you filming, filming how many people go in and out of here? No, too many. <laughs> too many. many. Yes, ma'am. Right. You have a good day. So, uh, parcel lockers. Post office boxes to the rest of us. Probably going to walk up and hear somebody complaining about the guys with cameras outside. So here's poster seven. Rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property. And they have the uh, drop off area here, service counter, and then you have your retail area. Peachy. Good. Peachy's the word. Yep. Uh, 58 cents. Thank you. I'm going to get the flags down. Hey, can I get a printed receipt with that, please? Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. All right. What did I just do with the stamp there? Right? But I'll put it where it's supposed to go. It mm -hmm. disappears on me. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Got my receipt, got my stamp. Mr. Watchman, sir. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and the other issue with restricted area is if you want to enforce a restricted area, oh. and there are certain criteria regarding who's allowed. Here's an example for you right here. I'll get back to that in a second. So you see that guy just dropped off his mail and there he goes right through the restricted area. So the alleged restricted area. So my point is, uh, if there are certain criteria for an area being restricted, in other words, people that are allowed in that restricted area, you can't pick and choose outside of that who you're gonna let in arbitrarily like that. You can't just, you know, you can't just open it up and have vehicles going through one minute and then the next minute it's a restricted area so I can call the cops and have you arrested for being back there. That just doesn't float, that creates a mess. And, uh, you know, most people don't care about that kind of stuff until it happens to them or somebody they do care about. So it matters and it's important. People get arrested for these types of things every day when they shouldn't. And uh, some of them, unfortunately, sit in a jail cell for extended periods of time when they shouldn't. So, and that, that's a good point, man. Just, you know, take a little tangent there, but don't make shit up that's going to get somebody locked up, man. You got a problem with what somebody's doing and you feel the need to call the authorities on them and do that. That's on you, man. Do what you got to do. But, you know, you do you, but don't make stuff up. Keep it real. Be honest. If you have to start embellishing things, then you had no reason to call in the first place for sure. And, uh, you know, you don't want to put people in jail for no reason. That's crap. You can mess up somebody's life. You can ruin their kids' lives. You can do a lot of damage that way. It's not cute. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, it is. That's a very good point. Damaged right there where they hook that up. Yeah, Watchman just brought up the point where they have this cable weaved through this fence here like this. It's all pulled out. You can see it from the side. Which uh, probably means that a vehicle or two has hit it. I'm sure they have. Well, how would you see that? How would you see a thin cable? That's why it's illegal to put up cables in the middle of the woods where people ride their dirt bikes because you could kill somebody. Imagine this cable is up and somebody came in here on a bike. You could ruin somebody's life, ruin somebody's bike, ruin somebody's leg. They could hit their head. I don't. Is there uh, helmet laws here in Utah? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, you know, somebody could hit the pavement and hit their head. Yeah. Very uncool, man. I didn't even think about that with motorcycles, even a bicycle. Yeah. Somebody on a bicycle could come pulling into the driveway here, come flying through without even thinking about it, maybe looking in their pocket for their piece of mail or something and just nail that cable. You know what would happen to that person? Because somebody can't take the time to put up a proper sign. And that's the problem when you have government employees. Because this guy, if I tell this guy, listen, you got to get this fixed, Rob, the station manager. You got to put in the paperwork. You got to put in the request. You got to get this fixed. He doesn't care. It's not his job and it's not his responsibility. He's probably, whoever the powers that be or that are his bosses probably are aware of it already. So what does he care? What are you going to do? Report it. They're not going to do anything to him. He's not going to get in any trouble. So he doesn't really care if he fixes it or not. And that's why it sits like this forever until something terrible happens, until somebody gets gravely injured, then all of a sudden they'll do something about it after it costs the taxpayers millions of dollars. You also, um, which a lot of people probably aren't aware of, 
just like every business, like this post office has to have two exits. It's a national fire code. You have to have two exits out of a building. It's a safety thing. Um, you also have to have two exits out of the parking lot. What happens if somebody's car catches on fire right here, blocking this entrance, like this guy who just parked is blocking it and blocking the stop sign and people can't see it now. But imagine a car catches on fire, a big vehicle, whatever, and blocks that entrance. You can't go through there and this cable's up. What is everybody just trapped in the parking lot behind a fire? It's ridiculous. The more I stand here and think about it, the more absurd it is. And these are the things we're out here to find. We're not always looking for, you know, you're not always gonna find a cop acting like a fool. You know, sometimes they uh, keep their mouth shut and behave themselves, believe it or not. But we're looking for this kind of stuff. This is a, a life safety hazard here at the uh, Washington Post Office. And I think it's a big deal, in my opinion. Oh, here we go. Hey, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. Someone just called you in. I don't know why, but... V Neighbor. That's a good name. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. What's your badge number, just so I know I'm speaking with this? Six kilo two. Thank you. Okay. So someone called this in for? Just suspicious. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if it was the post office or what, but... Yeah, I'll go talk to him. I don't see what the problem is, but... Okay, I'll very go good. Talk. Appreciate you. You'll let us know on the way out? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Actually, might as well find out what's going on. We have two officers here from the Washington PD. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. How's your guys' day going so far? Going good. Good. You guys doing yeah. good today? Can't complain, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Weather's beautiful. Weather's beautiful, yeah. You Sunshine. Guys doing, uh, you guys doing like a documentary or? Yeah, we're taking a little video of the post office. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Never know what it's going to get used for. <laughs> you never know now. Yeah, you never you, know, yeah. You might catch something pretty awesome. I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll tell you, I'll give you details and I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing after you guys make your determination of what's going on here. Oh, mm. all right. I don't even know what's going on here yet. So. Me either. Yeah. I doubt the uh, manager of the post office spoke to you since him and I had a very cordial conversation outside yeah. and he yeah. Yeah. verified that we're allowed to be here. No, and yeah, if that's the that's case, nice. I have no issues. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Somebody just called in you suspicious, so. And you, you guys have to go to every suspicious call you get? Yeah, every single that's one, man. That's a waste of resources. You're right. It yeah. probably is, but. Eh, that's no, I know you're just doing your job. Yeah. You do a call for service. You got to respond. You're right. But and that's the same. If you called something in, we'd respond. You know what? I wish. I'll be honest with you, though. Does I this wish. This guy need to come up here. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe we can move over here. Oh, yeah, you're good. So I just I wish that so. eventually it would get to the point where people would call dispatch. Dispatch would say, is all they're doing taking pictures? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh. Nothing we could do. And just explain yeah. that over the phone, then it doesn't I'll, take you guys away from I'll what you're doing. I'll tell you right now, people don't get that. So right. people, don't, people don't understand well, that. Well, nobody explains it to them. No. I think it's part of the problem. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just saying, I think if yeah. dispatch maybe, you know, are they harassing anyone? Yeah. Are they going into restricted areas? Yeah. If they're just taking pictures, there's really nothing we're going to be able to do about it. Right. No, and I appreciate, mm. if, you, if you talk to the postmaster, I appreciate that. That's uh, actually, station manager. That never, that he never, his name was Rob, he identified himself as a station manager. Yeah, that, ne that usually doesn't happen, so I appreciate it. Well, he came out and spoke to us. Yeah, I wouldn't have sought him out. Nice. Because I know what the rules are. I know oh, what yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I know you know what the rules are. Yeah. And can I just ask, Officer Carter, is it so Sergeant? Sergeant Carter. Sergeant Carter, your badge number, please? 6X9. 6X9? 6X9. 6X9. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. I'd just like to document who I spoke with. Negative. We're good for right now. Ten four. We're just going to clarify with the post office, make sure that they talk to him, and we'll clear. Now let me ask you a question. I did speak to him, and I'm being totally honest with oh. you and forthright with you. But what if I didn't? If you didn't? Yeah. Then if they, all I'm going to do is verify that they will allow you there, and if they will, then you stay there. If not, then I'm just going to ask you to move to the sidewalk, and that's it. Does your department have a written agreement with the postmaster here about jurisdiction on the property? 
it is we are the police department for Washington City, so we have jurisdiction no, in the city. Just respectfully, but that's not how that works. The post office, being that this is federal property, the postmaster would have to enter into a written agreement with your PD in order for you to have okay. jurisdiction on this property. Well, I guess that's we'll the way the law that. works. I guess we'll figure that out yeah. if that's what it comes to. Right well, it's not going to come to that. So. I know what the rules are, and okay. I don't break them. Yeah. But I appreciate you guys being cordial and professional. I don't have any reason to be upset with you or anything. Very so good. Yeah, I, no. I, yeah. I just don't want you to come chase the next guy out of here that didn't have a conversation with the station manager. Yeah. Because then that opens you up for a lawsuit, and that's well, you know, no reason for that. It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be the first time that we've had that issue. So. wouldn't be the first time you've had the issue with somebody being here There's taking video? Somebody being irritated with us and saying that we're not doing the right thing. So, I mean, that happens all the time. People have their opinions. Oh, no, but I'm not giving you opinion. I'm giving you factual. I know what the law is. Okay. I don't, I don't, when I go out and do these things, I don't operate off of my opinions. Okay. And I don't the law's not very... The law is not very logical or common sense derived, so you have to know what it is. Do you mind, do you mind opening the door and having us just come back that way for a sec? Is that okay? You guys are very cordial, I appreciate it. Yeah, no, same, right back at you. I, I, get, I give what I get. Oh, no, hey, that's the way I... I can be the other way, but no need with you, gentlemen. Yeah, me too. Can I make sure they're off of you? I'll make sure I don't record anybody's sensitive financial information. Okay. Then can I, like, can you guys print out something? Because I don't want to be recorded. That's, they're in there discussing that right now. You don't have that option. You're a public employee in a public facility. All right, appreciate you. Hey, hey, thank you very much. I uh, appreciate your guys' candidness. No, thank you. Yeah, I'll give you a fist bump. My hands are a little sweaty from holding this Thanks, thing. Thanks, guys. Have, and, a good, uh, have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thanks. And, I w you know, I would uh, give you the details of exactly what we're doing here, but I overheard your conversation in the back, so you know. Yeah. But you know completely what we're doing. Uh -huh. And I just hope that you guys remember, the one thing I want you to take away from this is, not everybody with a camera is going to be a show. It's what? Not, not everybody with a camera is going to act like a show. No, I don't. Some I'm guys not, are just out taking video, behaving themselves, doing what they're supposed you're right. to do. You're right. I believe that. That's it. Hey, and we're I, just called here because someone called No, no, us I get it. You yeah. got to do what you got to do. Okay. Thanks, man. And I'm just going right. to, you guys are coming across as a couple of very good police officers here. And again, I appreciate your professionalism and courtesy. Yep. So I just want to ask you real quick, what do you think a good police officer's worst enemy is? Worst enemy? Yep. A bad, bad police myself. officer. A bad police officer. You nailed it. Good cops are out there getting you guys hurt and killed every day. And it's yep. a travesty, man. Police your own. Honor your oath, continue the fine work, and we appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You have a wonderful yeah, day. Stay safe. safe. You too. You. Appreciate you. And we're not out looking. Just also, one last thing. I heard you say we're just out here looking for a reaction. The reaction I'm out here looking for. That wasn't me. Well, one of somebody the in the back. That was the postmaster. You know what, what reaction I'm looking for? Exactly the one we got here today, and I appreciate you for that. Well, thank that's, you. That's how you're going to get treated from us every time. Very good. You have a good day, Carter. Appreciate you. Yep, nothing going on. Can put the gloves away there, big man. He's absolutely right. I am looking for a reaction. And like I said, I got the reaction I'm looking for. You guys that follow us know that I'm always hoping these things go well. Um, I'm not looking for the drama or the misery. I'm looking for the productive educational conversation. Uh, looking to learn something myself and get educated and hopefully teach somebody else something else. And uh, that's the way that should go. Well, all right, guys. Um, I want to say A plus for the post office here, but uh, I guess the guy's entitled to have his own opinion or whatever it is, but telling the cops that we're here just to get a reaction um, after I was completely cordial and respectful with him, that's uh, unnecessary. And uh, I guess that was just his little last jab at whatever he needed to do. Um, but like I said, completely unnecessary. There's no reason for any of that. And uh, like I said, we were here to get a good reaction, and I'm glad we got one here today. That's the world I want to live in. That's the way I hope one day all these audits go, is uh, good reactions, no problems, no issues, and uh, people upholding our rights, honoring their oath, and uh, following the rules, because that's what it's all about. Um, so at the end of the day, if the post officer didn't give that comment, I probably would have given him an A+, plus, but uh, we'll give him an A- minus just for... Uh, trying to stir it up a little bit there at the end um as far as the police were concerned uh that's another mixed bag because uh, they said if the if the station manager had said we were not allowed to be here 
uh, then they would have asked us to leave the property uh, and move out to the sidewalk, which in other words means they would have told us to leave or trespassed us. Um, so that's a little concerning. So, um, but they didn't do that. And uh, Postmaster didn't take his uh, embellishment that far. So glad that didn't happen. Um, but that's it, enough said, it is what it is. So I never like to leave you guys without reminding you that if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do when you wanna support what we do, best way for you to do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. YouTube's algorithm, YouTube's algorithm loves that kind of stuff. Uh, and it gets our videos out to more and more people so more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. Um, I know me and the Watchmen are out here getting an education out on the street every day. Um, and information comes at you some, from some strange places. And uh, sometimes it's hard to admit you don't know or you're wrong. But uh, if you keep your ears open, keep your eyes open, you can learn something every day. So uh, I invite you to do that and uh, share what you know with other people. But uh, that's it. I also invite you to check out Watching the Watchman's channel if you're so inclined. Uh, you'll see things on his videos that you won't see here, such as his commentary, maps, facts, information, so uh, check them out if you're so inclined. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, and probably grab something to eat. It's getting later in the day. It's almost 5 o'clock. So for now, we'll be back out tomorrow. Coming to you from the Washington Post Office in Washington, Utah. Watching the Watchmen. Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.